This morning, when Sunday's New York City Marathon was canceled on Friday, nearly 50,000 runners from 125 countries had no race to run. Many of them went running anyway. Others got involved in Superstorm Sandy relief efforts this morning. The controversy over the race lingers. Seth Doan is on New York Staten Island. Seth, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie. I'm standing just about four miles from where the starting line of the New York Marathon was set to be. But it's scenes like this that changed all of those plans. Hundreds of would-be marathon runners in orange jerseys set out on a new course Sunday. They carried relief supplies to devastated parts of Staten Island. I got on a plane expecting to run, hoping to run. Michael Reed trained for almost four months for Sunday's marathon. He'd spent thousands on preparations, hotels, and flying in from London. At first, the, the, reaction, the reaction is a bit of a disappointment, but you get over it when you see everything that's going on. And we have to have a city going forward. Initially, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg said the city would hold the race as planned. But following Sandy, many were outraged that resources and attention would go to a race rather than relief. The New York Post fueled the outcry. Friday afternoon, Bloomberg backtracked. We just don't need the distraction. Canceling just two days before the marathon created its own stir. Mary Pilon is a sports reporter for the New York Times. The decision could have been made earlier in terms of international travelers, elite runners, but hindsight is 2020. Uh, I think that the anger on Friday was a lot greater than what people expected. Michael Reed and his running partner Sherry Harpez took it all in stride. They clocked about 10 miles on Sunday with relief supplies on their backs. And this was the finish line. It's really a bit overwhelming. Why overwhelming? It's kind of, I don't know, it's sad, but it's nice to see humanity come through in times like this. New York Road Runners, which organized the marathon, donated race supplies to the relief effort. And in this hard-hit neighborhood of Staten Island, Lorette Downey was just happy to get some attention. Finally. How is it to have all of these folks coming it's into wonderful. your neighborhood? It's, it's, it's a godsend. Now, usually people sort of wave off the media, tell us to get out. Here in this neighborhood, people have told us, take pictures, take as many pictures as you can. Let people see how much we're suffering. Seth, do you think there's a consensus here in terms of attitude about this? I couldn't quite hear you. Uh, I think you asked a bit about the uh, attitude there. Yeah, uh, the I general mean, attitude. Here among the... the um, among the marathon runners yesterday, the people we spoke with were kind of happy almost to change, change the focus of the marathon a bit. So uh, we found people who there was, certainly was controversy, uh, but they were happy to have a, a new focus. Seth Doan, thank you. And Charlie, good to see that some of those marathon runners pitched in yeah. to help some of the needy people there. I was the in the park on uh, Sunday morning and it was full of people running, yeah. I don't know whether they were marathoners or not, but there were lots of people in the park. Exactly.